So you got your Raspberry Pi Zero W. You've loaded Noobs and loaded Raspbian. You can pick up your Wi-Fi, surf the net, do a little bit of programming. But you want a media player, you can go back out into the Noobs and you have Libra Elec. Unfortunately, the Libra Elec version is not the updated with the new firmware and drivers for the W. What you can do instead is if you have a separate micro SD card, it would need to be about an 8 gig, you just load a new version of the 8001 or 8.0.0.1, which you'll find on the Libre Elec website. So first off, you'll put your micro SD card into your laptop and open the files, make sure it's empty. That's fine. And what you do then is you use an SD formatter. Do a refresh, make sure it's the correct letter in the drive and go into options, format size adjustment, switch on and go ahead and format your card. Right, this one is 7.4 gig, which is fine. Exit out of that. Then go to the Raspberry, sorry, go to the Libra Elec website. And you can see here it has version 8.0.0.1 for Pi 0W. It has Krypton from Kodi. Now here it is here, it's an image file, but first off you'll need to download the Libra Elec USB SD card creator, which turns your SD card into a boot card. So you'll need to click on that and download that. When you click on that, it'll bring you to this. You can download for Windows, for Mac or for Linux. Now I'm using a Windows, so I've used the Windows version. Once you've downloaded the both of these, and you can go in and select the creator and there we go there it says for raspberry pi zero and w now it does say 8.0.0 but it is the 0.1 version the updated version select the file that you want to download again you'll have to go back in and select the one from the from my well i have it here in the rpi open and there it is there 8.0.0.1 highlight that open it and write now it will advise you that you're going to write overwrite anything go ahead and do it we'll take about a minute or two what it does, it'll reformat your card again and turn it into a boot disk or boot card that you can put directly into the Raspberry and it will boot into Libra Elec Cody Krypton. Now I'm sure that this version of Libra Elec Krypton have the firmware and drivers to recognize your Raspberry Pi Zero W. We'll find out in a moment. All done. You can close everything and we're ready to go and load it into the Raspberry Pi Zero W. I've got the micro SD card now in the Raspberry Pi Zero W and I have it connected to my TV. So switch on the TV, it should come up on HDMI 1, as soon as that comes up, there we go, and I'll just plug in the Raspberry, and looks like we've got something, wait for that to boot up. Boot 
booting. You can see up on the top left it says version 8.0.0.1, which is the updated version with the software and drivers, or firmware and drivers, I should say. And we have Cody, version 17.1, Krypton. Well, we have something there. Right, welcome. So after you've read that, just go down to next. Right, it says here you can uh, call it, you can change the name on it if you wish. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Right, looking for networks. Now this will tell you, this will show you if the little Wi-Fi is working off this script on to see if it can find anything and if the firmware and drivers have been installed. So it's looking. Oh, so it has found something. No, yeah, that's me. Right, connect them up. Enter the password. Press OK. And it looks like it is. We're done. Ready to go into your Kodi or LibreLec apps and download any additional media. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe.